Hey travel dudes, Dave here, exploring Innsbruck, and I'm not sure if I could do this ski jump. We've just landed at Innsbruck Airport, the harder to roll. We're here to explore the city and then to do a little bit of ski as well. Let's go on an adventure. Just arrived in Innsbruck and we're about to check in to Stage 12 Hotel. Got a little time before we go skiing, so why not explore the city of Innsbruck? Innsbruck offers a unique combination of European city break mixed with an alpine skiing holiday. The city hosts everything one could be looking for, from great museums and cultural attractions to world-class restaurants and bars. Our first stop exploring Innsbruck is at the Olympic Ski Jumping Facility in the heart of the city. So we're now at the top of the ski jump here in Innsbruck and just standing here you can get the feeling of what an Olympian goes through. The adrenaline sort of lining up and getting onto these skis, they're a lot longer than usual skis because they're a bit more aerodynamic and when you take off you sort of look like a squirrel. But these are the older ones and these are the newer ones. You can see the newer ones are sort of a bit longer and taller and the bindings are a little bit older. I don't know if I could even get off that. That is absolutely insane. And to think people do that for a gold medal, absolutely crazy. When you're on holiday, sometimes you buy a fridge magnet or you send a postcard. But here in Innsbruck, Tyrol, at Sport Art, you can take home your own skis after doing a workshop. Hi! Nice. Hey, amazing. How are you doing? I see you're the crazy creative genius behind uh, <laughs> Spur Art. Could you tell us a little bit about um, Spur Art? Yeah, sure. We are a little uh, ski and snowboard company here in Innsbruck located and we're specialized in individual ski and snowboard building. So and also like what we do like a lot is like uh, build your own. So you can come to our place and just like build a ski and board like that you want in a two day course on a weekend. Just like that? Just like that. Fantastic. And then hopefully go skiing afterwards. Yeah, yeah, sure. You know, we're <laughs> right in the middle here. So Brilliant. I didn't bring any skis, so this is great. <laughs> <laughs> you got a little time? Yeah, I would can get this going. Fantastic. <laughs> this one I made earlier. Oh, it's covered fiber, like it's a green skin. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll take this one. We are engraving a ski now, just like we're putting a graphic on. As you see like back there you know, on that image of the computer, we just like upload like a, a black and white graphic on it and we can just directly engrave this to the ski. Innsbruck's got a lot of historical feel about it. When you walk around, you feel like you're being transported back to the medieval times. You can just see it in the buildings. It's pretty cool. The buildings are actually sort of slanting out just from sinking into the ground because they're so old. I love that about Innsbruck. It's just such a beautiful place to explore. Go 
have somewhere special tonight in Innsbruck for some hearty Tyrolean cuisine. Also to get beer. Genau. Perfect. So I've gone for some goulash, which is very common in this area. It's very gula, gula <laughs> Goulash is a beef stew, um, traditionally served in brewer houses. It's really good. This is classical pub grub food, as you'd say in Austria. We've got half a duck, some beautiful beet vegetables, and some dumpling potatoes. Time to devour this dish. Just had a delicious hearty meal here in Innsbruck, and I am so tired it's ready to go to bed to get ready for a day full of adventure here in Tyrol. So we've just driven outside of Innsbruck to come to Kutai, which is one of the nine resorts around the Innsbruck region. Time to get kitted up and hit the slopes. The surrounding area of Innsbruck plays host to nine different ski resorts, all within an hour's drive of the city. All of these resorts are easily accessible on the free ski bus to and from Innsbruck, as well as under one ski pass. It's the perfect spot for winter sports enthusiasts of all skill levels. enough of skiing all these endless slopes, take some time to kick back and enjoy that Innsbruck weather. That was great fun, now it's time to get some lunch at the Maximilia Hut. Yeah, Dankeschön. This is a very traditional Austrian dish called Kaiserspätzle, which is like a sort of a noodle and a cheese, and it's really good. It's great after a nice ski session. This, my friends, is Kaiserschmarrn, which is sort of like a Austrian pancake with all this apple sauce on top, and it is delicious. I am stuffed, but it's extra weight to bring me down the hill. It's just an hour away from Innsbruck city. We've had some great skiing, but now it's time to get into the city itself. Got on my fancy shirt. Time to go for dinner. So we're taking our dining experience up a notch here in Innsbruck and we are dining at Das Schindler. So we've got a table. It's a Saturday. Let's dine, my friends. So we've had a few local tip-offs from a few friends of mine that this is the place to eat on the weekend here in Innsbruck. So I'm very excited to tuck in to a few of these delightful dishes that will be coming our way very shortly. It was great to try one of Innsbruck's top dining experience at Das Schinder and we can't wait to see more of Innsbruck. With a huge selection of delicious restaurants, traditional bars and cultural attractions, Innsbruck is truly the heart of Tyrol. The city offers the perfect city break ski holiday and is easily accessible with direct flights from most major UK airports. When considering your next adventure to the Austrian Alps, be sure to make Innsbruck and Tyrol the top of your list. <laughs>